Impact Interview is sponsored by the Pocono Mountains, where small town charm meets big adventures. Book your trip today by visiting PoconoMountains.com. Welcome back to Nittany Game Week. This week, our Impact Interview guest is Rick Neuheisel from CBS Sports and the CBS Sports Network. Not many people know the college football programs out west better than Rick, a head, former head coach at Colorado, Washington, and UCLA. Rick, thanks so much for joining us. We'll jump right into it. Look, this is now a Big Ten conference game, Penn State and USC. I know we got to get used to that annoying chant at the Coliseum, but for the Nittany Lions, what is the biggest challenge about playing the Trojans on the road? Yeah, if you can get used to hearing conquest, you you pretty much have solved the issue. Um, listen, Penn State comes in with a complete team. Uh, Andy Kotelnicki has uh, done a great job offensively. I know it's looked a little pedestrian maybe the last couple of weeks, but there's been some big plays in this offense, which I know is uh, much to the delight of the Nittany Lion fans. And defensively, they're playing great football. Um, if that continues they'll have the right recipe to go into the Coliseum and win. Uh, Lincoln Riley has been an offensive mastermind for his entire career since uh, leaving East Carolina and going to Oklahoma. And he's got three Heisman Trophy winners under his belt, three first pick in the NFL draft guys under his belt. I mean, he's got a resume and then some. But this particular quarterback, Miller Moss, to me is not the – extender of plays that maybe he's enjoyed with Tyler Murray and Caleb Williams and, and Baker Mayfield and, and even Jalen Hurts when he transferred from Alabama. He's, this is a pocket quarterback. And to me, they're going to have to lean on their running game more uh, and, and make the Nittany Lions stop their running game. In the two losses the Trojans have suffered, they've run the ball for more than four yards a carry in both of them. And yet, it's interceptions that have cost them the game. So, Rick, let's talk USC's defense first. This was a problem area for them last year. They get UCLA defensive coordinator Danton Lynn, a former Penn State player, who took UCLA's defense from 87th in the country to 10th a year ago. They've seen 30% improvement across six major defensive categories. So what's been the biggest difference to that improvement? The left hand knowing what the right hand is doing. Right. Always in defense, uh, you got to know where your help is. And to me, they – one of the, the knocks on Alex Grinch's defense, the former co coordinator, was it was complicated. It, it had lots of, uh, uh, you know, exotics, as we call them in the business, right, in terms of trying to confuse uh, opponents. And, and, and so you, some, you try so hard to do that, you confuse yourself. Uh, that and then noticeably the, the poor tackling. They were just a bad tackling team. I don't know if that was a product of not practicing it, uh, trying to keep people healthy or what have you, but both of those things have improved this year with Danton Lynn uh, running things that people know where their help is. Poor tackling got it, got them against Michigan on that final run by Mullings, you know, go 67 yards. But uh, for the most part, they've been pretty good in that regard. That was certainly on display against LSU and Wisconsin. Um, and even against Minnesota, it wasn't a lack of defense. It was, again, going back to that offense, it was too many turnovers. I, I like what Danton Lynn's done. He's a bright light in coaching and won't be long before uh, he's a head coach in this business. Rick, the offensive side of the ball, USC has some really impressive skill players. How much of a matchup problem do you think this is going to be for Penn State? And how important is that pass rush going to be for Southern Cal? I think it's critical. And it was the key for both Minnesota's victory and uh, Michigan's victory. As a matter of fact, at halftime, we were on the field there at uh, in Ann Arbor uh, for that game. They made a wholesale switch at tackle. The Trojans did at halftime. They brought their right tackle to play the left tackle because he was getting beat so badly. And they moved somebody else in to play right tackle uh, to try to give Miller Moss some time. And it they started going some up-tempo, Tom, so that they could try to slow that pass rush down. But to me, that's the key to the game. If you let Miller Moss sit out there and count the house, he's going to hit you because, they, like you mentioned, they've got plenty of good receivers, plenty of good receivers. And it's uh, imperative that the pass rush be a, a big-time uh, emphasis for the uh, Nittany Lions this week. 
Appreciate Coach Neuheisel for taking time to speak with us. It's going to be a fun one in the Coliseum. And make sure you go to NittanyGameWeek.com to see all of our impact interviews along with other web-exclusive content like our depth chart and Nittany Game Week podcast.